It is an ancient mariner. He stoppeth one or three. By thy long grey beard and glittering eye, now wherefore stoppeth thou leave me? A bridegroom's doors are wide and wide. I am next of kin, the guests are met, the feast is set, mayeth hear the merry din. He holds him with his shy and skinny hand. There was a ship, quoth he, hold off and hand me, grey-bearded loom. If foons his hand droppeth he, he holds him with his glittering eye. The wedding guest stood still and listens like three years child the marrier have his will a wedding guest sat on the stone he cannot choose but hear thus spake on that ancient land the bright eyed mariner the ship was cheered and the harbour cleared merry did we troop drop below the kirk below the hill below the lighthouse top the sun came up upon the left, out of sea came he, and he stood bright on the light right, went down into the sea, higher and higher every day, till over the mast at noon, the wedding guests were beat his breast, for he heard the loudest bassoon. The bread have paced into the hall, red as a rose, says she, Nodding their heads before she goes, the merry minstrelly. The wedding guest, he beat his breast, yet he cannot choose but hear. And that spoke of the ancient man, the bright-eyed mariner. And now the storm burst came, and he was tyrantorious tri- and strong. He struck with his own t- overtaking wings and chased us south along with sloping masts and dipping brow as he as who pursued with yell and blow still treads the shadow of his foe and forward bends his head the ship drove fast loud roared the blast and straight southward i we fled and now there came both mist and snow it grew monstrous wondrously cold as the ice mist must high came floating by as green as emerald though the drifts the snowy cliffs did send a, a dismal sheen nor shapes of man nor beasts we kin the ice was all between, between the ice was here the ice was there the ice was all round it crackled and growled and roared and howled like wind noises in the swoon at length did it cross an albatross, though it the fog it came, through the fog it came, as if it had been a Christian soul, we held it in God's name. It ate the food it never had ate, around and round it flew, and ice did spit from a thunderous fit. The helmsman steered us through, a cold, a good south wind sprung, up behind the albatross did follow, and every day for food or play came to the marrows. Hello, hello. In mist or cloud, on a moss or shroud, it perched for Vespers' line, while all the nights through the fog smoke white, glimmered the white moonshine. God save thee, ancient Maria, for the frames that plague thee thus. Why look? This fruit rose on with my crossbow. I shot the albatross. The sun now rose upon the light right. Out the sea came he, still hid in the mist. On the left went down in the sea, and the good south wind still blew behind. But no sweet bird did follow, nor did any bird day for food or play came to the Mario's hello. I had done the hellish thing, and would work and woe for all the bird, bird. I had killed the bird. I made the breeze to blow. I made the breeze to blow. A wretch, said they, said they, a blow to slay. 
and made the breeze to blow, nor dim, nor, nor red, like God's own hand, <coughs> the glorious sun set up rest. All of eared, I had killed the bird that brought the fog and mist. That's right, said they, such birds to slay. They bring the fog and the mist. The fair breeze blew, a white foam flew, a furrow full of thee. We went, we were the first that ever burst into the, that silent sea. Don't drop it, the breeze, that sails drop it down. Thus said, as said could be, and we shall speak only to break the silence of the sea. All in hot and copper say I, the bloody sun at noon, right above the mast did stand, no bigger than the moon. Day after day, day after day, we struck nor prith nor motion, as idle as a painted ship upon a painted ocean. Water, water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, not any drop to drink. A very deep did rot, O oh Christ, it that ever this should be. Yea, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. About in vill and vault, and death fires dance the night. The welter, like a witch's oil, burnt green and blue and white. And some in dreams assured were of the spirit that played us so. Nine fathoms deep, he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue through the drought, which was withered up at the root, we could not speak no more than if we had been choked with soot. Oh, very well the day that evil looks, had I from old and young, instead of the cross of the albatross about my neck, was hung. There passed a weary time, each throat was parched and glazed with each eye. A weary time, a weary time, a glazed every weary eye. When looked in westward, I beheld a something in the sky. At first it seemed a little speck, and then it seemed a mist. It moved and moved, it, and took at last a certain shape. I wist, a speck, a mist, a shift, a wist. And still it neared and neared, as it dodged a white sprite, it plunged and tracked and veered, with throats and slackened, with black lips baked. We did, could not laugh nor well. Through utter drought all dumb we stood. I bit my arm and sucked the blood, and cried a cell, a cell, the throats unslakened, with black lips baked. A gate they heard me cry, Grimacy, they did cry, joy did grin, and all at once their breath drew in, as they were drinking all. See, see, I cried, she'd wear tax no more, heaven to work with us will. Without a breeze, without a tide, she steadies with upright kill. A western wave has all a flame. The day was well nigh done. Almost done upon the western wave, rested the broad red sun. When the slow, strange shape drove suddenly, bids twist us in the sun, as straight the sun was flecked with bars, heaven's mother's grace, send us grace, as though a dungeon grate appeared with broad and burning face. Alas, I thought, I, I my heart harped loud, how far she nears and fears. Although she sails and glances in the sun, like a restless gossam years, are those her ribs through which the sun did peer, as though through as through a gate great? And what is that woman, all her crew? Is that a death? There are, and there, and there, and there, well, there. And there, too, is death, that woman's mate. Her lips are red, and looks are free. Her locks are yellow as gold, her skin as white as leprosy. A nightmare life in death was she, who fixed man's blood with cold. A naked hulk, a long game, the twain 
were casting dice. The game is done, I won, I won, quoth with she, a whistle twice. The sun dips and stars rush out, as what one strike comes in the dark, with fire heard whisper over the sea, off shot the spectre brought by. He listened and looked sideways up, fear at my heart at a, at a cup. My blood, lifeblood seemed to sip. The stars were dim, the thick that night. The stainsman face <coughs> his lip, lamp deemed white, gleamed white. From the sails that drew did drip, that till clung upon the eastern bar, the horned in moon, with one bright star within, the neither tip. Once over. One after another, one by the dog dogged moon. Too quick for groan or sigh, each turned his face with a ghastly pang and cursed me with his eye. Four times fifty living men, I, and I heard not a sigh nor a groan. With heavy thump, a lifeless lump, we dropped down one by one. A soul did from their bodies fly, they fled to bliss or woe. Every cell it passed me by, like the fizz of my crow crossbow. I fear thee, ancient mariner, I fear the, thy skinny hand. Thy shot art long and lank and brown, as is the roof seed sand. I fear thee, and thy glittering eye, and thy skinny hand so brown. Fear not, fear not, thou wedding guest, his body a drop, not drown. Alone, alone, all, all alone, alone in the wide world at sea. And never a saint took pity on my soul in agony. The many men so beautiful, and they all dead did lie. A thousand, thousand slimy things lived on, and so did I. I looked upon the rotting sea, and drew my eyes away. I looked upon the rotting deck, and where the dead men lay. I looked to heaven, and tried to pray, but... On either of prayer and had got it. a wicked prayer came and made my heart as dry as dust. I closed my lids and kept them closed, and the balls like pulses beat, for the sky is a sea and the sea is a sky, lay like a load on my weary eye, and the dead were on at my feet. A cold sweat melted from my limbs, not rot nor reek did they. The look with which they looked on me had never passed away. An orphan's curse would drag to hell a spirit high from on high. But oh, how more horrible than that is the curse of a dead man's eye. Seven days, seven nights saw that curse, and yet I could not die. The moving moon went up the sky, and no, where did abide? Softly she was coming up. Going up, a star or two beside, a beam of his mock that slowly made, like April for most frost spread. But where the ship whose shadow lay, a charmed water burnt away, a still and awful red. Beyond the shadow of the ship, I watched the watery snakes. They moved in tracks of slowly white, and when they reared, this elfish light fell off. In the hurry flakes. Within the shadow of the ship, I watched their rich lure attire blue, glossy green, and white velvet black. Then curled and swam, their every track was a flash of golden fire. Oh, happy living things, a tongue, a beauty might declare, a spring of love gushed from my heart. I blessed them unaware. Such sure my kind of fate, fate took pity on me. I blessed them and by unaware. A self made same moment, same as self moment, I could pray, and with my neck so free, the albatross flowed off and sank like lead into the sea. Oh, sleep, it is a gentle thing, but loved from pole to pole. To Mary, Queen, the praise it be given, she sent the gentle sleep from heaven that slid into my soul. The silly buckets on the deck that so long remained. I dreamt they were filled with dew, and then I awoke, it rained.
My lips were wet, my throat was cold, my garments all were drank. Sure, I had drunken in my dreams, and still my body drank. I moved, I could not feel my limbs. I was so light, almost, I thought that I died in sleep. It was blessed ghosts. As soon I heard a roaring wind, it did not come near, but there, with its sound it shook the shells. They were so thin and sweet. The upper air burst into life, a hundred fire flags sheen. To and fro they hurried about, and to and fro in and out. Their waning stars danced between, and the coming wind did roar more loud, and the sails did sigh like sledge. The rain poured down from one black cloud, and the moon was at its edge. The thick black cloud was cleft and still, the moon was at its side. Like water shot from some high cleft, the lightning fell from never a jag, and the river steep and wide. The lying wind never reached the ship, yet now the ship moved on, beneath the lightning and the moon, a dead man did gave a groan. They groaned, they stirred, they all uprose, nor spank, nor moved their eyes. It had been strange, even in a dream, to have seen those dead men rise. Held men steered, the ship moved on, yet neither breeze blew up, blew, blew up, blew, breeze up blew. The mariners all gained work, the ropes, where they weren't to do. I raised the limbs like loose stools. We were a ghastly crew. The body of one, my brother's son, stood by me, knee to knee. The body I pulled at one rope, but he said out to me, I fear thee, ancient Maria, be calm, thou wedding guest. That's not of those souls that fled in pain, which to they, they, their corpse came again, but troop of spirits blessed. When it is dawned, they drop their arms and cluster round the mast. Sweet sounds rose slowly through their mind mouths, and from their bodies passed. Around, around, each flew, each sound sweet. They darted to the sun. Slowly the sounds came back again, now mixed, now one by one. Sometimes a dropping from the sky, a high herd. The skylarks sing, sometimes all the little birds they, they are. How they seem to feel the star, sea, and air with this sweet juggling. And now, thus, there was like all instruments, now like a lonely float. And now it's an angel's song that makes the heavens be moot. Peace, it ceased, yet still, the sails moved on, a pleasant noise till doom, noon. A noise like a sodden brook in a leafy month of June, that to the sleeping woods all light singeth a quiet tune. Till long we breeze quickly, quietly sailed on, and yet never breathed, did breathe. Slowly and slowly went the ship, moved onward with, from beneath, under the kill, nine fathom deep, from the land of mist and snow. A very slid, and what it was he but that made the sail go on. The ships at noon left off their t- tune, and the ship stood still at, at, at so. A ship right up from the mirrors had fixed her to the ocean, but in a moment she did, did began stir with a short uneasy motion. Backwards and forwards have half life with a soft uneasy motion. Then, like a pouring horse, let go. She made a sudden bound. I hung. It flung the blood into my head, and it fell down like into a swoon. How long in that same fit I lay, I have not to declare. But uh, ere my living, living life returned, I ear heard, heard, and in my soul discerned the voices in the air. It is me, he, quoth it one, is the man by whom by it is it is he quoth it one it is the man by him who died on the cross with his cruel bow 
He that laid low that harmless fair for trots, and spirited them both by him. In a land of mist and snow, he loved the bird and loved the man who shot him with his bow. The other was soft of voice, as soft as honey dew. Quoth if he, a man hath paneth done, paneth more, will do. First voice. But tell me, tell me, speak again. They spoke, respond, renewing. What makes that ship fly so fast? What's the ocean? What is the ocean doing? Second voice. Still was a slave before his world. The ocean hath no glass. His great blue right eye, most silently up to the moon is cast. He may know which way to go, for she guides him smooth or grim. See, brother, see how graciously he looketh down on him. First voice. But why? Drives on the ship so fast, without a warm wave or wind. Second voice, the air is cut between, cut before, and the closes from behind. Fly, brother, fly, more high, more high, or shall we be belated? The slow and slow that ship will go, when the marriage trance is abrated. I woke, and we were sailing on, as in the gentle weather. That's night, calm night, the moon was high, the dead men. Men stood together, all stood together on the dark, on the deck, for a charnel dungeon flitter. All fixed on me, they stole me eyes, that in the moon did glitter. A pang the curse with they, which they died, had never passed away. I could not draw my eyes from theirs, nor turn them up, turn them up to prayer. Now this spell was snapped. Once more I view the ocean green. I looked far north, yet still little saw. Yet I looked far north, yet little, yet little saw. Of what else been seen? Like one that on a lonesome road did walk in fear and dread, having once turned walk, walks on and turns no more his head, because he knows a frightful fiend doth close behind him tread. But soon there breatheth, breath the wind on me, a sound, a motion made, his path was put not upon the sea, a ripple, a ripple, or in a shade, arise my hair, it fanned my cheek, like a meadow grail or spring, it mingled strangely with my fears, yet it felt like a welcoming thing. swiftly, swiftly flew the ship, yet she sailed swiftly too. Sweetly, sweetly blew the breeze. Oh, me, alone it blew. Oh, I dream of joy, it is, is, is this indeed? The height house top, I see. Is this the hill? Is this the kirk? Is this my own country? We drifted over the highway bar, harbour bar, and I with snob, sobs like prayer. Oh, let me wake, oh God. Oh, let me wake, sleep away. Away, away, away. The harbour bay was clear as glass, as so slowly was it strown. And on the bay the moonlight slay, lay, and the shadow of the moon. The rock shone bright, the kirk no less. There stands above the rock, the moonlit sleeped, it steeped in stillness, the steady weathercock. The bay was white with silent light, till rising from the same, full many shapes of shapes were in crimson colours came. A little distance from the prow those crimson shadows were. I turned my eyes upon the deck. O oh Christ, what I saw, what I saw, I there. Each course lay flat, lifeless and flat, and by the holy rod, a man of light, a seventh man, of all every, oh, every course. They stood, they saved his ban, each waved his hand, if his heavenly sight, each stood as signals to the night, to the land, each one a lonely sight, light. The seventh band, each waved his hand, no voice did they part, no voice but, oh, they silent sank, like music, like my heart. But soon I heard the dash of oars 
I heard a plot lurch tear. My head was turned prevails. Away I saw a bird appear. A pilot and a pilot boy. I heard them coming fast. Dear Lord in heaven, it was a joy the dead men could not blast. I heard a third. I heard his voice. Is it is the hermit good? He singeth loud his godly hymns, and he makes in the woods. He serveth my soul. He washed away the albatross blood. This hermit, hermit, good lives in what in that wood, which slopes down the sea. How loudly his sweet voice he rears his lo- love. To talk with Marie Rees, that come from a far country. He kneels at morn and noon, noon and eve. He hath a cushion plump. It is the moss that holy hides a rotten old oak stump. The skiff boat neared. I heard him talk. Why this is strange? I turned. There, where are those lights so, so many and fair? A signal made, but not now. But now, strange be my own faith, I have said. They answered, but not our cheer. A planks look warped, and see these sails, if how thin they are, and see if. I never s- saw aught like them, unless a fit chance it were. Brown skeletons of leaves that lag my forest brook along. Where the ivy trod is heavy with snow, the owlet whoops it to the wolves below, that eats the she wolf's young. Dear Lord, they have a fiendish look, the pilot made reply. I am feared, push on, push on, said the hermit clearly, cheerily. A boat came closer to the ship, and nor spank nor stirred. A boat came close beneath the ship, and straight a sound was heard. Under water it rumbled on, still louder and more dead. It traced, it reached the ship, it split the bay, the ship ran down like lead. Stunned by that sound and dreadful noise, stunned by that loud and dreadful sound, which sky and ocean smote, like one that have been seven days drowned, my body lay afloat, but swift as dreams myself I found within the pilot's boat. Upon the well where sank the ship, the boat swam, spun round and round, and all was still, save that the hill was telling of the sound. I moved my lips, the pilot shrieked, and fell down in a fit. A holy hermit raised his eyes, and prayed where he, he did sit. I took the oars, the pilot boy, who now both crazy go, who now both doth crazy go, laughed loud and long, and all the while his eyes went to and fro. Ha ha, quoth he, for plain I see, a devil knows how I held a row. And now, all in my own country, I stood on my f- firm land, helmet stepped forth from the boat, and scarcely he could stand. Oh, skieth me, skieth me, holy man, the helmet crossed his brow. Many, say quick, quoth he, I bid thee say, what manner of man art thou? For when his frame of mine was wretched, with a woeful agony, which forced me to begin my tale, and then let me, and let, 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 let me free. Since then, an unlearned hour, that, that, that agony returns, and still my ghastly tale is told, this heart within me burns. I pass like night, from they understand, I have strange power of speech. A moment that his face I see, I know the man that must hear me. I to him I tell I reach, teach. What loud uproar bursts from that door? I, I the wedding guests are there, but in that golden bower, the bride, the bride maid singing. Ah, oh, the hark, a little vesper prayer bell, that that which biddeth me the prayer. O oh, wedding guests, this soul have begun, have been alone the wide world sea. So lonely was that God himself, scarce them there to be. O oh, sweeter than marriage feast, thus sweeter far to me, to walk together to the kirk with goodly company. 
to walk together to the kirk and all together pray, while each of these great father blends, old men and babes and laying friends, and muse and maidens gay. Farewell, farewell, but this I tell, to thee thy wedding guest, he prayeth well who li- loveth well, both man and bird and breast, beast. He prayeth best and he who loveth best, all things does great and small, for the dear God who loveth all, he may and loveth all, a man whose eyes is bright, whose beard with, with each with age is a war, is gone and now the wedding guest turned from the bread by the door. Groove's door. He went like one that hath been stunned. It is in our, his sense of forlorn. A sad and wiser man, he rose the morrow morn.